What's up, everybody? It's Stoogs. Welcome back to Origins, baby. We so hype. We hype. Let's do this. All right, here we go again with the no nonsense Easter egg. No special. Oh, that was that was brutal. Yeah, that's right. Let's get wrecked. All right, just hurry up and finish. Perfect. All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is this a speed run? Maybe. A little bit. No gobblegum speed run. Uh, or no mega gobblegum speed run. Not really a speed run now, is it? <laughs> Takes like three hours to get wrecked. Okay, we're gonna get a couple more boards here. Enemy personnel. All right. Hello. Sorry. Uh, when you start this match, it always like everything starts right away, and you're running around like a crazy person. Um, but yes, we are doing the Easter egg. Only three gobble gums. Um, and we're gonna have a good time. It's gonna be lit, dude. Boom. Okay. So I put that away. Everything you see I'm doing here, it's part of my strat. Like, see me knifing, the amount of bullets I take, everything is intentional, pretty much. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Get over here, zombies. Ooh, heck no. Let me kill these zombies first. Do no moss. Perfect. Free money. Don't mind if I do. By the way, uh, I may not have the camera out the whole time. Uh, knowing this Easter egg, it's probably going to take me like three hours. So I don't think my camera can last that long. I don't have the best camera. Uh, just so you know, my face goes missing. That's why. We're doing my strat, which is survive in the spawn room through most of round six with this guy. Um, and I'm doing my best to conserve ammo, because I need a lot of that ammo for the last two rounds, five and six, because those are by far the hardest rounds to get through. Uh, oh, okay. I guess I shot him in the face. Poor guy. And then I always get quick revive. Yeah, that's always, like, you think, oh, it takes up the space and my, my perks, you know? But you, you need it. You need it. You're doing this without gobble gums. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be hard. So I recommend getting that right away. Um, yeah, we're here. Round four, doing good. Uh, the goal is to get to about 15,000 points. Uh, 15,000 points, sorry. Um, and that is to unlock the entire map, get Jug and the Quick Revive a couple of times if needed, and also to get the tank or get another machine gun in the excavation site. Oh, hello. This is a little dicey, eh? Oh. Oh, wait, what? I don't know what just happened. Yeah, get wrecked. Why not? Okay, that sucked. <laughs> no, they don't, Dempsey. No, they don't. Ooh! Let's go. That's lucky, dude. Getting getting flayed the second gobblegum makes life so much easier, dude. Because now I can just one-shot them for the next two rounds and I'm safe. Wow, I got max ammo again. Dude, this is a lucky playthrough, bro. But yeah, just get get the boards as much as you can. Get extra points. It's very important. And just use the free gobble gums, you know. I'm playing uh, Black Ops 3, obviously. Um, not Black Ops 2. And I feel like... The extra hit that you get, you know, in Black Ops 3 is a huge help to me. Without it, I feel like I would die at me a lot more. Because you only get, you know, hit twice and then you're down in Black Ops 2. It's just too difficult. Like, I think that part of making it easier was a, was a smart choice for Treyarch and the like. Um, because it's just so hard to survive on two hits. I mean, come on. You get hit once and, and then you're like, oh, okay, I guess I'm on my last breath already. <laughs> like... It's so easy to get hit just once by a zombie. I mean, come on now. Way too easy. 16,000. Sheesh, kebabbers, bro. So good. 
Ooh, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. What is going on? This is legitimately so lucky. Uh, usually I have bad luck when I play. But today, nah, bro. Nah, haha, bro. Actually, I'm gonna kill this guy. Okay. Wait, we need to get the excavation. That's why I ran out here. Because now we get to chill while these guys just run around like crazy people. Oh, shoot. I spoke too soon. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh. Yes. It was. It really was a... It really was a miscalculation, good sir. Alright. Time to unload. Uh, got plenty of money. By the way, it's good to keep a couple of bullets in this weapon. Um for the robots, because it's a lot easier with like a faster automatic kind of weapon to get them. You know, the robot feet to get shit. inside their uh, their heads, you know, the, the robots. I, I'm so good at describing stuff. You, you guys should see all my other videos. Like, yeah, I'm just as good, you know, that's kind of my thing, you know, describing stuff badly. So, um, what happened? give me another one. Give me a bluey, if you will. Thank you. Blueies are nice, you know, little buffs to help me uh, run around faster and the like. Okay, let's let's wait around for the homie. Or is he? No, nah, we'll we'll wait around for the homie. We got one shield part. We're gonna wait around for the homie, Big Lenny. Um, I like to call him the whatever the name of the robot in Spawn is called. I don't know. I don't. Oh, there he is! I'm smart. Okay. Uh, so yeah. But no, this is a speed run without gobble gums, like I already said. Um, no perkaholics, no soda fountain, none of that she, bro. We don't, we don't need that. We complete this Easter egg without all that she. All right, we got we got this. We got this. All right. By the way, I've completed the Easter egg almost twice. Last night, I was Damn, filling up really moving this the mud. um the teleporter at the top, you know, in the crazy place at the end. Uh, and I died. I downed because I only had two um, machine gun weapons upgraded, and it just wasn't fast enough. Like I didn't have a ray gun or anything. And it's rough. That last little bit in there, dude. It's so hard. But um, and it was round 21, by the way. For, for round oh yeah, and if you can't hear these guys' voices, I have it lowered because they often interrupt me. Also, I need to get the heck out of here. Oh shoot, okay. Oh shoot, okay. Gonna go through this way. We have plenty of money to do so. Alright. Found myself another gun. Get wrecked. There we go. Perfect. Okay, it's not in here. We'll be fine. We shall be and if we're not fine, if we're not we run back up. Get quick revive again. It's only 500 points. I don't care. I might be able to find a good use. All right, we're gonna start going up here. Yep, I knew you would be there, good sir. We gotta be extra careful. Okay, we're good. We're hold it. We're chilling, bro. We're chilling. All right. Now time to go get jug. Very uh, very hastily, you know. That is the most important thing, ladies and gents. Get Jug right away once you get out of here. That is the bottom line. If a robot does come by, though, try to make that a priority. Because if you fall behind on the robots, it's going to take you forever to get that wind staff. And that's kind of the first staff you need to get. So, get it. Get it, sons. Sons and daughters. Come on. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I got you. I got you, fam. Come over here. That's where you first saw them. I got you. I got you, fam. Step right up. Just double checking that it's the right foot. I definitely did not hit the circle on that, by the way, and it opened. This game sometimes glitchy, glitchy and fishy. So good, so far, dude. So good. I don't usually have this good of luck. Um, anyway, we're gonna go get that jug. Can't see none. still in one piece. Shield part? Anywhere? Shield part? Shield part? No? Okay. We got a slowy. Are you guys both slow? No, they're not. Okay. We got a 
We gotta get a move on them. All right. Uh, I'll kill the fast one. Why not? Get over here. Boom. Oh, now you're fast. Okay, well you suck, son. I hate you. All right, here we go. Also, a little tidbit. Um, when you're out doing this Easter egg and such, don't try to kill the generator zombies. Just don't do it, trust me. Uh, if you focus on trying to shoot them down instead of actually surviving from them, it usually distracts you. Like, it distracts me. I don't know about you. Uh, but, and I, like, down because I'm, like, trying to shoot the zombie. And I forget, oh, there's another zombie right behind me, too. And he smacked me in the butt, and now I'm dead. You know? Like, just just watch yourself. Be be aware at all times. Like, don't, don't do anything stupid. Ooh, okay. Can I get a good gun, please? Oh, okay. All right. Also, um, you might think, uh, don't, don't get the dig sites yet, because, uh, you still haven't gotten the ice staff. Well, because I survive in the spawn room for six rounds, I already passed the first snowy rounds, and I can't get snow again until around, round, uh, 11. So, why bother waiting to get the dig sites, you know? Get that golden shuffle. Oh, I don't Careful, think I can make this. Approaching. Oh, come on. Why is it always... What a loser. You know what about this game? All it takes is one moment where you get stuck in the corner by one zombie, and you're screwed. It doesn't matter how many zombies there are. You could be screwed either way. So that's, you know, that's always a fear of playing this. All right, I'm about to do something stupid that I just advise y'all not to do something stupid. Uh, but I'm running across this without the shield and stamina, which is not a good idea. I have Jug, so I should be okay. But if these zombies catch up to me and they're a sprinter, you know, the fastest zombies that catch up to you while you're walking, every single zombie isn't fast enough for you while walking, except for the sprinter zombie. You know what I'm talking about. And if you're in the mud, the sprinter zombie will catch up to you extra fast. So, you know, I do not Maybe advise what I'm doing some here. Other. If I look too serious, I'm sorry, I'm taking this very seriously. Um, this first time long recording long. me completing the easter egg and all the other times i tried i did pretty bad honestly you know? so i want to show you guys that i can actually do this without mega gobble guns thank you very much um and that's a very hard feat especially on camera you know like t puts a little more pressure on when you're when you're doing it behind the camera and showing people so whoa hello what are you doing what are you doing, son? Get back in your your corner. Oh my gosh! You too, buddy. Sheesh. What? A, uh, God. Calm down, sons of sons. No. We don't swear on this channel. Family friendly. Also, how do I have five thousand? I have so much money. That's not normal, dude. By the way, that's not normal. It's a lot of money. I usually have a max of like four thousand. Wait, where is it? Shoot! What am I doing? And it's the okay. You know what? Screw you, robot. Damn, Screw you. Slowing me down. I'm so sad. Oh, now you're both fast. Great. That's okay though, because we still have plenty to do. Um, in my strategy, I like to get the lightning staff part first before progressing rounds and trying to do more stuff. So, okay, we'll take it. That's partly the reason why I have so much money. I think. Keep getting uh, blood, whatever it's called. I don't know, dude. I can't speak, you know? I just can't. I don't know English that well, you know? I was just born and raised for almost 24 years, you know? I'm not an expert in English. Another rule of thumb for my playthrough is always get speed cola before stamina up. I know a lot of people are like, oh, you're stuck in the mud, you gotta get that as soon as possible. But to me, it's the waiting around. Uh, in a lot of instances, you're waiting around killing a bunch of zombies, like knifing them for the holy water thing or um, for the cauldrons, for the fire staff. Um, I just think, you know, reloading fast with those is, like, very crucial, because if you're sitting there pumping your little rod, you know, you know how they do. I'll, I'll show you. Uh, <laughs> that sounds so wrong. The, uh, the staffs. So, let's reload. They do. It takes a little while, you know? If you're sitting there and have to stay in the same spot for a prolonged period of time, and there's tons of zombies around you, you gotta reload fast, and there's no running involved in that. You have to stay there to fill up the cauldrons, bro, so, like, 
Ooh, I don't have the zombie shield. This might be bad. This might be a bad idea. You should really have the zombie shield to get on the tank, because they can smack you fast on here. Let's get this thing moving. And this guy's already up. I'm just gonna kill him. Yep. I will jump off because I get two chances to get this uh, lightning part. So um, I will jump off if I'm about to die. So we should be fine. Okay, okay. We're okay. We're okay. What? I get a second try. I don't care. That was stupid, though. You saw that. I was on the platform, and for some reason, Dempsey just, oh, well, you know, I'm uh, ten toe hanging off this thing, and I'm going to fall off. No. Screw you, Dempsey. Screw you. Okay. I thought Dem Dempsey was a G. You know, he's my favorite character, Primus and Ultimus. So, Yay! I'm sorry. All right, so a strat to get the zombie off your arse on the tank, for this part at least. I have no solution for the other part, but this part, wait till he gets to the water. Run over to this pillar, and then once he's right about there, just sprint all the way. Use all your sprint to the tank. And you should be able to have enough space for him to just follow you the whole time without jumping on your tank. All the way to the end. It's pretty nice. See, look. He's very far behind now. So yeah, it's, it's pretty nice, you know? Let me just get to watch him suffer. No, I'm not waiting for you, Eddie, okay? Get, get out of here, all right? Actually, don't. Because if you get out of here, that means you'll respawn in front of the tank and then die and move around. And I really don't want that. Ooh, that could be a good thumbnail. Pose for the camera, sir. Pose, why don't you? Oh, yeah, looking good. Oh, yeah. What's up? What's up, G? You ready to have some fun? You brought the beer, right? You brought, you brought the... You brought the hard cell, sir. You brought the goodies. You brought solo cups. That's the most important part, bro. Everybody, you know, the, the solo cups, you know. Grab the ping pong table up here, you know. Play some beer pong, bro. Yeah. I love how obsessed people are with that game. Like, you just go to someone's, like, birthday party or something. It's just the bros, you know, hanging out. And, and there's always that one guy who's like, Where are the soul cups? Why didn't you get soul cups? And you're just like, bro, I knew you were going to ask for that, but like, I don't need them. Like, come on, just chill and just hang out. Life isn't all about beer pong, you know? Stooms 2023. Life isn't all about beer pong. Part of a staff. Okay, Lenny, I hate you. Okay, why do you wait till I'm on the other side of the map? To show up, okay? You suck, all right? You, you do not get the thumbnail, all right? Gosh, get out of here. I think the dealio is I'm gonna record 45 minutes with the camera on either end of the video. So when I believe that there's 45 minutes left or at the very end of the video, um, I'm gonna record again. And then it's been 30 minutes recording now, so I'm gonna record another 15 minutes and then I'm gonna turn off the camera just to save battery and stuff. I don't have much battery, enough of that. to be honest. I work with what I got, you know? <laughs> oh, it's worth it, bud. You're gonna be shooting lightning from the rod, baby. Heck of worth it, if you ask me. Alright, and we're evermore keeping our eyes peeled for Big Lenny at the church. Whoa, why is it so dark? Whoa! What the? Did I discover a secret Easter egg? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Damn, mud's slowing me down. I love how angry Dempsey gets. He's just like, yeah, yeah, boy, uh, so angry. <laughs> oh man, I love it. I love it. Kudos to the uh, amazing voice voice actors for these four characters, dude. Oh, they're the best. Also, respect for Primus Takio. I he's like my favorite out of the Primus group. Like Ultimus Takio was kind of lame, but Primus Takio, heck yeah, bro. Heck yeah, you. Come to Papi Moneno. Come. Let me guess. You give me the easy foot this time that I'm. Oh, yep. I saw it. You see that glint of light? Did you see that? Of course. Of course, Big Lenny. Of course. Now that I'm already here, you're like, oh, let's just make it extra easy. When I could have made this if you gave me the closer foot earlier. And I could have just run over here. But no. He's just like, nah, bro. Now it's not the time. 
He must be a sensei or something. Must know the future. The amount of times I've accidentally gone through the portal because I already opened it while I'm doing this is many, many times. Luckily it saves. You don't have to do all that again. Pays it, pays it. In case you wanted to know, the code is 136357 and 246. From the bottom. Okay. Heck yeah, yeah. Speed run vibes. Let's go. Let's go. go. Hello, good sir. Also, on this part, a little tidbit, make sure the zombie is actually close behind you when you jump down from that ledge, because if he respawns as a sprinter and he gets you right here, it's so easy to actually get trapped here. I've, like, died twice in that position trying to shoot that part of the wind's staff easter egg bit, and it's so frustrating. So just make sure he's behind you instead of in front of you, is pretty much what I'm saying. I don't know if it's just me, but... I'm sure not all of you who watch this video are pros. <laughs> and if you are, you're probably one of those giddy two-shoes who uses a mega gobble gun. Yeah, that's right. Called out. Get upset. I don't care. Don't tell me to get good when you're using cheese balls to get further in the game, alright? Try to complete this easter egg like I'm doing without gobble guns. And then you can start telling people get good when they try to say they're cool. Alright? Just don't try to be cool, though. If you try to be cool, you're you're already uncool. You're a loser, okay? And if you call people out like that, you're insecure. That's just, just a fact of life, so just get over yourself. Anyways, lessons from Stooms again. Just chill out, people. Let people appreciate what they appreciate, and leave them alone about it. If you disagree with them, it's none of your concern, you know? Especially if they're a random person on the internet. Like, just calm down. You know? Just because you're behind a computer doesn't mean your words don't hold any value. Negative or positive value. So yeah, if you're saying positive things, I don't discourage that, of course. But what the mean things that you say, haters out there, um, would you say that to people in person? If you wouldn't willingly say that to someone's face in person because you know it's bad, don't say it online either. Should be a rule of thumb for everybody, but not everyone's like that, so it's just kind of interesting, you know? Some people are just a-holes. <laughs> Called out again, son! Get wrecked! Anyway. I'm unashamed. Wait, what am I doing? I have this weapon. I, I, I can't really, I can't really take out zombies with this. This is not good. <laughs> Dude, I totally forgot. See, recording just makes me forget about everything. What I forgot to get was my machine gun. So I always go over and get the wall buy in the excavation site. Site. It's the most expensive weapon, but it's the best. And it has the most ammo and it's just it's just nice. So get that weapon before you uh Oh yeah, I know why because I was supposed to get a weapon, a good weapon like the shotgun or the draken from the uh dig sites around the map. But I didn't get that, so my brain was like, "Oh, you already got all the dig sites. That means you have a weapon." Da 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 da. da. But I didn't because they, I had bad luck in that area. Now I could get stamina. I could, but I would rather play it safe and just not risk losing everything. I need this money to get jug after I die. That's another thing too. People who use mega gobble guns think that the game is over once they're down, you know, and they have quick revive. But no. Part of the game is learning how to recover after being downed and getting your perks again. I've done it many, multiple times, trust me, doing it without megas. And it's super duper du doable. That was too much D. Uh, that's why I couldn't finish that, but yeah. Super duper doable to um, get recovery. Just shoot all the fast ones around you with the upgraded pistol. Sprint as fast as you can to both jug and quick revive again, if you still have a quick revive. And the bomb diggity, you're good. All right, y'all, so you're not gonna see my face for a while here. I'm gonna tap out, uh, but you will see me again later in this video. Just wanna let you guys know so you're not freaking out where'd my face go, you know? When you get down here with your two staffs that you've prepared, only upgrade one of them, and preferably the wind staff. Fight! 
Okay. Well, there's a perfect example of me downing prematurely. All right, so at this point, if you didn't down, um, you get the one uh, staff, and then you go immediately to the holy waters and knife the heck out of those zombies. Because if you do this later, one staff knife is not going to be enough to take down, or yeah, to take down a single zombie. And you'll be screwed trying to do that part of the easter egg so just get this done early guys it's it's much more reasonable i know i haven't been downed once so i still have a quick revive um so we're gonna go get that first and at this point the panzer's gonna come round eight as he always does um and while you're um filling up the holy water thingy you can kill the panzer with your wind stuff that you're also using to kill all the zombies with the knife so it's just it's pretty foolproof and then the other lightning staff is is still in there it's still in the crazy place ready whenever you need it but we're gonna save that we're gonna save that for later and I'll, you'll see later when i get to that but yeah that i think me downing was actually a good thing you saw how i recovered easy peasy guys easy peasy you don't need to cancel the game oh no my perkaholic ah no just keep playing pick up jug again get your perks that you need and you're fine. Now I'm going to make my way over to the holy water area. Let's start getting that done. We have two fire parts, and we need to wait all the way until around round 11 to get snow back to get the ice staff parts. So you're just going to, in the meantime, get the remaining uh, fire staff parts. Um, do the holy water stuff, and fill up the... Um, the boxes around the map until you have ice. Okay, that's all of them. All right, save as many zombies as you can. I got it. Ah! <laughs> that's how it's done, son. Oh my gosh, juke him out. All right, follow the path. Uh, please move. Please move. Please move. <laughs> Big Lenny, come on, bro. Gosh, Church Robot is a little sassy today. What the heck? That was very close. I almost kept going. <laughs> you defeated the Panzer. Usually I don't get grabbed that close to the Panzer. That was a little sketchy, but we, we, we did fine. I knew I was gonna be fine, because all you have to do is hit him and then he gets stunned. So, uh, yeah. And I will say the wind staff is the worst for the panzers, but it's the best for the zombies, and that's why I prefer to use it at this time over the lightning staff. That's just my two cents about the matter. Um, everyone has their opinions, but I just feel like if you can just shoot and all the zombies blow away that we're about to kill you, I think that's the most foolproof, you know? And then when the panzer, panzer comes, you're screwed because the wind staff does not nearly enough damage for him. But, like, yeah. So, <laughs> take it as you will. Use your use your staffs as you see fit once you get them. Oh, there it is! You behind on Pick it up! Pick it up! Gosh dang, dude. Come on. Alright. So, next tip is actually surprising. I fill up the cauldrons before I get the remaining staffs. So I use the wind staff to fill up all the cauldrons, and then once that's mostly done, um, at least get like some of them done, um, then go and finish up the ice staff, the fire staff, and the lightning staff. And I usually like to knife on this part too, because it's easy. And your knife is good through round 15. Once you hit round 16, it takes two knives with the staff, and then you're a goner. Unless you get the fist of iron, which is what I'm doing right now. Another huge tidbit, don't do anything with the easter egg unless it's filling up boxes, doing the holy water, or upgrading the staffs, um, like, because those things involve um, killing zombies. Don't do anything else with the easter egg unless you're at the end of the round. So, if I'm like gonna go out around and do other things with the easter egg, like try to collect staff parts right during this round while all these zombies are around me it's it's a safety hazard safety hazard and one of those things 
unfortunately, is recovering the generators. Alright, I'm gonna kill this zombie. Because now it's gonna start snowing. Okay, we gotta hurry. We're gonna hurry back to the middle. When snow does come, even in the middle of the round, this is the one exception, but even in the middle of a round, get the staff parts. Just run as fast as you can and get all the parts, because you need to get those. If you finish off this round without getting all the parts, you might be boned later. So even if you're in the middle of getting a cauldron, I do slightly recommend drop what you're doing, unless you know that you'll complete the cauldron before the end of the round and get those staff parts. Heck yeah, okay. Got him. Oh no, he came from the other side. No. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. Please die. Oh my gosh. No, I do not want that. Get out of here. Kaboom. Okay, heck yeah. We're out of here, we're out of here, we're out of here, we're out of here. No! Okay. Oh, that was close. Alright. Alright, we got the <laughs> we got the panzer, baby. That's good. That is one of the most dicey parts because the panzer kind of ruins it since the wind staff is so bad against him. But I insist, personally... Uh, all three robots? Gosh, dang it, dude. That sucks. Okay, um, we're gonna have to run around for a while. Again, I could start a cauldron, but... I don't know if the middle robot or the church robot is going to go through next, so I refuse to, one, kill lots of zombies, and two, pick a cauldron because I just, I don't want to waste time. Because at this point, progressing rounds is actually a bad thing. I ain't going to lie. Okay. Okay. Oh, there I go. All right, we got lots of money. And we're right next to Jug. We'll be okay. So I died. That was stupid. I agree, but... You know what? I can recover. I did it before in this video. I'll do it again for you guys. And I have 11,000 coins and an upgrade weapon. We're, we're doing all right. Upgraded weapon. Sorry. No! That's it! I did it! Oh, that's awesome, dude. Uh, why can't I move? If I die here because I accidentally get cornered, I'm gonna be so lividly mad, dude. Livid. <laughs> Heck yeah. Let's go get our Fists of Fury. And then also I recommend if you have plenty of... Okay. Get right. Of uh, quick revives, I recommend not getting your... Um, uh, double tap until um, after you've lost your uh, quick revive. Because then you can get your max perks that are actually helpful to you. And you know, double tap, not super useful for this man. <gasps> I did it! The golden shovel! Let's go. mistake was touching me. Your second was sticking around. That was close. See? Stuff like that can happen so fast, and you're just not ready for it. So I have one zombie now. What else? Doesn't matter. Dude, we got our fists of fury already, dude. This is a great playthrough. Like, already my best playthrough so far on the channel, like recorded. Make sure we get through the rest of the Easter egg, shall we? I and a crazy L. Uh, we got just a regular L. Okay. We got crazy L. Where are you at? We got an I and a dot. A. We got an I and an L. And then I'm not even gonna look for the last one. Heck yeah! yeah. So much closer. Uh. All right. I'm gonna move this gramophone, and then we move the gramophone to the wind tunnel, which is the closest to the excavation site. Um, we won't have to move it ever again. Also, I said on a previous video that 
an upgraded weapon turns into a pew pew, which makes it a non-bullet based weapon. But as you can see here, I was wrong. It only applies to the ray gun. So yeah, just make sure you have a bullet based weapon instead of a ray gun, because the ray gun ain't going to cut it. And I think the reason why I thought that is because when you upgrade the spawn gun, like little pistol, I'm pretty sure you can't shoot bullet based things either. I'm pretty sure. So I was just, I, I was just mad and confused is all. <laughs> ha, we don't have to wait around for this ever again. Oh my gosh. I do not like your guys' speed. I'm just going to run up here for a bit. Just for safety precautions, you know. You guys suck. Look at that juke, bruh. Alright, cool. Let's do this. Oh wait. I can't do it yet. I have to run back and get the fire staff. It's so annoying how many times you have to go back and forth, I will say. It takes so long. Like, the longest part of the Easter egg isn't even doing the actual steps. It's just walking to and from the crazy place. It's so freaking annoying. And that's why it's such a feat to get to a point where you never have to move the grab and grandma phone again. Because it's just like, oh yeah, I never have to wait again while these zombies try to kill me in a tight corner. <laughs> And almost die, like, thank goodness. <laughs> Ooh, thumbnail vibes. Yes, queen. Show off those thick thighs. Mm, actually, those pretty thin thighs. I'm gonna be so, you see what I'm doing here? I am collecting all the staffs, not upgrading them yet. And I am filling the cauldrons at the same time as I am upgrading the other two staffs. Because... Like I said before, once you get to a certain point, you do not want to progress rounds. If you progress rounds, you kind of screw yourself over because zombies just get harder and harder. And also, like I said, um, after round 15, it takes more than one knife with a staff to kill them. So that's a like significantly more difficult part or wave than the previous wave. So I'm trying to get as much done as early as possible. That is the best goal you could have. We're at round 14 now, and we're about to... Uh, Upgrade two more staffs while filling up the fire cauldrons. So this is good. And then once we're done with that, we just need to take care of the fire staff on its own. And then the bomb diggity. Move on with the Easter egg. This is really the hardest part. Like, just getting the freaking staffs upgraded. After that, the Easter egg is more or less a breeze. Other than upgrading your fist. Because, like, chilling in that room and having to have a non-staff weapon in your hand to, like, it's so hard to work. And I just chill in this corner to do this. I know it's sketchy because there's zombies that literally fall on you from up here, but you have a fire staff. You should be fine. One thing I do hate is, yeah, that, when the fire staff only shoots one at a time because it doesn't kill the zombie right away if that happens. And it's super annoying. Dude, do the triple. Do the triple. And I don't know how to get it to stop doing that. Correct. Oh! Okay, we got the cauldrons done. Uh, well, how do I get out of here? Okay, we haven't completely upgraded the ice staff, which is fine. But I'm going to get the lightning. If I freaking can, gosh dang. <laughs> Heck yeah! Okay. Uh, and hopefully we can finish this before completing the round just to make it easier on our lives. Because if that does happen... Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Jeez. Heck yeah, dude. Yeah, I get right. Are you kidding me right now? You know what? That might actually help me. I ain't gonna lie, that might actually help me. Heck yeah, okay. Alright, I'm gonna grab the wind, the wind staff, just in case. Okay, so we're chillin'. We're just going to be chilling a while, guys. I'm going to be honest. Um, this part takes a while, especially if I have bad luck, you know? Nope. It's 
The freaking church robot. Okay. That's sad. We chose wrong. I think I will put my face back up on the camera um, once I get the panzers released. Just so you can see my reaction of all the panzers. Um, but I did just recently um, find a perfect solution to the panzers, and that is dealing with one zombie in this particular area over here and just like doing the you know the triple shot the wind up on the on the staff and then they literally if you chill around that spot and keep circling around with your zombie like five of them at a time will run into the fire and die immediately like the fire staff is so op with panzers my personal favorite staff is the lightning staff i just think it's epic how it electrocutes everyone it's just so cool and I feel like that would probably be almost as good as the fire staff on the Panthers, but not quite. Big Lenny, come on. I know you have decisions to make, but please, please be smart about this. God dang it. No. Big Lenny, you betrayed me. You piece of trash. You piece of trash. Okay, we're gonna be a, we're gonna be here a while, boys and berries. We're, we're gonna be here a frick ton while. Oh my gosh! Are are you serious? I refuse, cause you know you know something. The moment I put the wind staff up and choose one of the other staff, it's gonna be the middle robot. You you know it, sons. You know it. You know it, sons and daughters. You 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 know it. I've seen the comments on other videos. People are like, yeah, I literally waited 20 times. <laughs> It's legit, all right? The grind is real, but no, I refuse to kill my, my buddy here. I don't remember what his name is. What's your name? Hey, where'd you go? Ah, hey, buddy, what's your name? Come on, dude. You don't gotta be like that. Kurt? All right, Kurt. One with a club, Kurt. You and me. Ooh, I like your fashionable uh, face mask. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize you got that one of those on. That's pretty cool. What uh, what kind of stuff are you protecting yourself from down there in the, the caves, dude? Clearly, I hate to say this, but clearly, like, whatever you were trying to protect against, it got to you, bro. <laughs> I can clearly see you don't look so hot. Um, sorry, Kurt. I just I just gotta be honest with you. It's slowing me down. And I I like to be honest with my friends. I like to be honest. So you know, I'm a real G that way. Oh, dude, this sucks. Dude, what if my computer crashes? This has happened before. I'm knocking on wood right now fervently, bro. Fervently, like 20,000 times I'm gonna knock on this wood, but I'm gonna tell you the story anyway. Uh, a couple times now, like maybe two or three, this game just glitches out. Like it freezes and then it takes me out and says, oh, uh, Black Ops 3 is offline. And the only way to get it back online is to shut down the game and come back. And it's basically game over. So if that happens here, guys, I... <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? I have no control over it. It's just a random glitch that Black Ops 3 goes through sometimes. And, you know, for some reason to save progress, you have to be online, which I think is stupid. Like, I haven't played a single Zombies match online. <laughs> I haven't. Only solo, baby. Um, but yeah, so if that happens, I am truly, truly sorry. Um, but just know that we've made it further than we've ever made it. I've never recorded myself getting all four staffs upgraded. So this is a feat. This is a huge feat, guys. So I'm very happy. And I'm sure, you know, you'll see some cuts here. I should probably stop talking. Because, like, this is the most uninteresting part of the actual playthrough. And I'm talking away, so I can't, like, edit it out. I should probably stop. <laughs> but what else am I going to do? I am bored. I need to talk to you guys. You know, that's, that's, the, that's the catch. Oh, it's the middle! Kurt, I love you. I would kiss you right now if you didn't have that mask on. Just so you know. Alright, it's this foot. You ready, Kurt? It's gonna be fun, alright? You and me, we're gonna go beam up into this foot. Alright? And don't worry, I'll shoot the hole in it so that you can fit. Um, just join me, dude. I don't know why you always, like, decide to opt out and just get crushed. Up, the robot's coming this Trust way. me, being crushed is not as comfy as... That was... Else see that vaguely I close. I was honestly scared there for a second. Like, I was shooting away. Heck, yeah, yeah! Alright, what staff do you think it is? I'm gonna bake on church, okay? 45% chance it's church, so I'm grabbing the ice staff, okay? 
All right, it's gonna be church. It's gonna be church, dude. I I feel it. I feel it in my bones. It's gonna be the church. All right, church robot, Big Lenny. He's coming. He's coming to town. Grabbing the ice staff. All right, come on. Give me something. Show me the money. Church. It's gotta be the church robot. It's gotta be the church. It's gotta be the church robot. Let's go! Let's freaking go, y'all! It's the church freaking robot. Frick yeah, dude. That is what I'm talking about. Sorry for yelling at the mic. You yelling at the mic. Anyone? Anyone? Now we just wait for the lightning, baby. Lightning! Spawn time. Be at spawn. ASAP. That's not spawn, is it? Or is it? No, it is spawn. It is spawn. Okay, okay. Woo! Let's freaking go. Alright, which foot, buddy? Show me the money. Show me the money. Kurt, don't get in my way, buddy. Okay? Oh, it's the other foot. It's the other foot. Red alert, red alert. It's the other foot. We did it, dude. We did it. <laughs> okay. Oh, baby. This is when the Easter egg starts getting exciting. As long as I don't have bad luck. I got the fire staff ready because after this happens, all the panzers are coming. And this bad boy is crazy with the panzers. It deletes them. It one-shots them, bro. Also, people always talk about how the throw is really hard for the uh, airstrikes. It really isn't. You don't need to be exact. Just hit at least some part of the ice box from the left, and it's easy. Hey guys, I'm back. My face is back anyways, because this part gets exciting, so I'm putting my face back to see it. It's for you guys to see my reactions. Dude, I'm so hyped. I'm making it so far. I'm so proud of myself. I'm proud of us. I'm proud of us, bro. Heck yeah, yeah! Let's go, let's do this! Kill those mother trucking panzers, bro! Let's do this! Uh, okay. At least I'm still in one piece. Perfect. Alright. Relatively fast on him, that's okay. Now what we want to do is sprint away from him so that the Maxis drone doesn't try to kill him. Yeah, go straight to it, bud. Okay, zombie, get over here. Zombie? Where's the zombie? Oh my gosh! Okay, we're good. Not supposed to come from behind, please. <laughs> okay, there's two, and the zombie's slow. We got this. Sheesh, bro. Sheesh, dude. I could not focus on you guys. I'm sorry. I get hyper focused on that part Woo. let's go let's freaking go okay okay Woo. Woo, whoa, whoa. okay skewer the winged beast let's do this easy peasy bro i've never had to go two rounds on this honestly once i got it down like i did the first time but once i figured out how to do it like it's so easy just find the plane and jump right down and go counter clockwise or, or Clockwise, whichever one it is that the zombie is going oppositely. I don't know what I'm saying. Just don't listen to me. But easy peasy. Easy peasy what I'm trying to say. Ready, 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 ready? Where are you at? Show me the money. Get out of here. Where's that at? Oh, this is bad. Got him. Okay, we gotta go.
Oh, that was so close, dude. Let's go! We did it! We did it! Oh, sheesh. Alright, so this part, I hate this part. The If I die here, the Fist of Iron, you know why. And it was a good run, guys. It was a very good run. I'm proud of us, together, working as a team, getting this done. Whew. Get pumped, get pumped. Get pumped! Oh, this part's hard. Because you have to wait until the late round to do it. That's what I hate about this part. The only way to do this is after progressing rounds through filling up the boxes and doing everything else. So it's just frustrating. And the panther. Okay. Gosh, why does it take them so long to shoot? Are any more respawning right now? Okay, maybe not. Oh my gosh, they are. Oh, this is so rough, dude. This is so rough. Where is it? Yes, yes. Oh, oh, dude, the last step, raise hell, and freedom, whatever. So guess what we get to do now? The most tedious part of this. We get to go back and forth, to and from, a crazy place, a total of five times. Fifth time, why? Because I need to try and get a weapon, because I'll have a free gun slot. Weapon. And we also need to get double tap, by the way. Perfect. Just one. That's all I want. And we are spinning for that ray gun. I'm going to try all the way until I get 5,000, if that's what it takes. Um, so that I have enough money, you know, to upgrade my second weapon. And guess what? Guess what, homies? We did this without megas. That's right. We did this together. You and me. No megas. Zero megas. You heard me right. Zero megas. Only the freeze. I didn't even use rares. I just used the free ones that they give you. I mean, we didn't do it, do it yet. Because we still have to get through the hardest part of the Easter egg, which is go through two rounds of high level zombies <laughs> without staffs. And I will tell you, this is the third time I'm doing it. I've done it twice my entire life before this. The second time, I failed. I died uh, trying to finish it. First time, I was so clutch. Like, I got down to my last hit from a zombie, like, so many times. And then I finally did it. Get our shield. Got our upgraded Fists of Fury. Okay, I have one qualm with the Fists of Fury. Like, it has a cooldown. Like, it takes, what, two, three seconds before you can use it again and it actually one-shots zombies. I find that to be the stupidest thing ever. You should be able to do this, spam as much as possible, and kill any zombie for whatever, however many rounds the strength that it has. It's ridiculous, dude. It's ridiculous. I just feel like when you're caught in the corner, like I'm about to be in this last part of the Easter egg, and you're counting on, you're counting on it, your Fists of Fury to work and take out the zombie in front of you that's about to kill you, and it doesn't, it's it's pretty screwy. Like, you know, I just I just think that's super annoying. Do long circles. We got this. Not gonna get caught by the single zombie. No sir. Okay. This just isn't gonna cut it. Yeah, it ain't. <laughs> You're so not wrong, uh Dempsey. You're so not wrong. Ooh! 
I've never gotten zombies. Uh, monkey. What? I've never gotten monkeys. That's awesome. Oh no, oh no, oh no. See? It just happened. Did you see that? I literally almost died there. What? Already? Wait till I report all this. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, Dempsey. That's too funny, bro. Wait till I report all this. Legit. What the heck? I went like 20 times with the first one. I only went five that time. Okay, this isn't bad. Like the ray gun. Come on, guys. Like the ray gun? Kind of necessity. You know what I'm saying? These weapons might be fine. Again. But again. I want to get... Oh! <gasps> There we go, folks. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Here we go, baby. I'm so hype right now. I'm so hype. Let's freaking do this. Okay. Well, the monkey looks so creepy in this iteration. Okay, that's it. Oh, dude, I'm destroying! It's because I have the ray gun. I ain't gonna lie, guys. <laughs> I'd be nothing without this ray gun. Dude, this is epic! Let's go! Oh. Uh. Oh, no. Yeah, it's not. I can curb. I can curb. Dude, where am I? Get away. These stupid walls. Wait, wait! Do not kill me. Do not kill me. What the heck? That is so unfair. We did it, dude! No megas, gobbles, gummies, baby! To Agartha opened, get good. Heroes were rewarded get good. You use megas? You use megas? You've done the Easter egg so many times? Get good. Samantha would keep them safe. Get good. No gobble gums. Ever. No megas. Get out. Get. Get. Get good. Get good. Getting everything wrong. I told you before that I should I'm sorry. be blue. I don't want to be a jerk, it's my turn, but I can do whatever I'm I just want. saying this to the haters like, out there who like to say to get good properly. to other people who are Girls trying this match zombies. without megas and doing pretty dang good. And these people out here, oh, I use megas, and I tell people to get good because I think they suck. No, you get good, son. You better do what your dad says. I didn't even get my turn. Tomorrow, Eddie. You get to make the rules. I promise. I know you guys have probably already seen this a million times already, so if I talk over it, I don't care. I'm still gonna watch our stories were real sad. Step back. I know what you mean. But we will make everything okay. My dad says he has a plan. Go! Hoo, hoo. I'm so pumped, dude. Let's go! Hoo, hoo. And I will uh, put timings up for how long it took me to do this. Um, I'm not sure right now. I don't have an actual timer. I've just ti been timing my recordings so that I don't record too much and my camera just stops the recording automatically. Um, but I will let you guys know. I'll put it on the screen. But anyways, we did it. We did the Easter egg. If I haven't proved my worth in this video, come on, y'all. Come on. Let's get it. Let's get it. Solo, Origins, Easter Egg, no Megas. Frickin' go. Let's frickin' go. Anyway, I've said that too many times. Thank you all so much for watching.
I hope you are having a wonderful day. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. <gasps> Let's go!